My hat backwards. Yeah. <laughs> it is Hello, now. everybody. Thank you very much for coming here. Here we are on 360. We got a special guest, Michael Williams Aim. Yeah, he was on live today on uh, Shine the Light. You must go see it. We uh, had a record number of people watching. I got people emailing me. It's very, very good. I ran it to a, a little thing that I have to make mini clips out of it, and they're, they're coming out very, very good. But get the chance to go look at it. It's very, very good. Um, what I wanted to talk about before we get started, I'll move it over to Red, and then we can pass it around. Yes, Ash is uh, scheduled to be here, but he has a crazy schedule, so we'll see what happens. Um, anyway. You know, we, we know all the stories that's been going on from Ash from, oh my gosh, now two months maybe. And we heard it. And, and even if we don't know the details and we don't need to, it, it doesn't sound it doesn't sound like it was very pleasant. In fact, it seems to me that he was uh, taking advantage of or, or, you know, people that he trusted. And that's that's a hard pill to swallow. It really is. And it, I went through just as many emotions as everybody else. I was, I was, I felt sorry for Ash and his family, big time. And then the more I thought about it, I said, wait a minute, they did it to all of us. And Ash is like a family member to all of us. Let's face the facts. I'm closer to some people here. I talk more to some people here than my own family. So then I got mad and I thought, well, wait a minute. <laughs> this is, you, you know, this is horrible. You you're trying to rob people's dreams. The problem they have, whoever it might be and whatever it might be, is they underestimated on passing. They underestimated the uh, the family-oriented system that we have put together in six years. Uh, it started one guy, I get it, and then it went to two, then 10, and then 2020 during the pandemic, I think we picked up between June and the following June, a million people. and what did it draw in? It drew in mostly people with big hearts that want to give. And there's been a couple big things that hit on passive one a year ago. Doesn't matter what it was called. And I believe at that time it was meant to knock us loose from our foundation and we didn't budge. We didn't budge. And that has to do with the, the, the bond that we built and that we're just not another company. We are actually a movement, an ideology, like Ash said, you can't kill an ideology. Um, and I thought that was amazing. And then with this going on, I felt something was wrong maybe four or five months ago. I talked about it with a couple of people. Uh, obviously it was a lot worse than I thought. We don't, you know, we'll find out. He said he will tell us this story. What, what I, what I've been pushing or, 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 giving my opinion on is we just need to focus our attention on yeah everybody has emotions about it but let's focus the emotions together and go forward and support ash on whatever it is that comes up next and, and listen to him and let's go with the flow um he will let us all know what's going on um when he can uh he knows i without a doubt he says it every week that it's comforting to him that while he's getting the arrows and gunshots and hatchets thrown at him to know that he looks back and he's got this massive, massive foundation of people that love him and support him. And that makes us all here feel great. I know for sure. I don't want to speak for anybody, but I know it does. And uh, we're going to keep moving forward. We're going to get more and more messages of what's coming, what we should be doing. And I just want everybody... Pay attention. And I, and I want to say one thing, and I, I'm pretty sure that these guys are going to touch on it. I know that do, through the desperation, and there's desperate things. I, look, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not living in a castle, okay? I've got things going on. Uh, but I want to just remind everybody. For the last few years, a lot of these shiny objects come up, and we all say, some people go, well, I need to do something, and they jump on it. Okay, it, it, listen, you could do whatever you want, but I want to remind everybody, why did you come here? Most of you, a lot of you, is because you can't drive traffic and you can't 
build a business, you don't have the skills to do it. Not that you can't learn it, but it takes a lot of work. And it's a moving target, by the way. So you come here where they're going to do the sales and all that for you. They, it's all automated. If you watch Michael's uh, video this morning, he explains all that very, very well. So why would you think now that you can? And, and I've had people come there. Yeah, but guess what? It's free. Okay. Newsflash. If it's free, where is the money coming from? Just think about what you're doing, okay? Some of these out there, and I'm not going to mention names. They don't deserve to be mentioned. But if you're giving your name and you're giving your email, you're giving them money. And you're going to say, well, how am I giving them money? Data is money. Data is a multi, I think it's a trillion dollar industry, actually, where they take data. Data is your name, your email, whatever they can get and sell it to somebody so they can hit you up on different ads and stuff like that. Just be be careful. Look, I, I'm not going to try to tell you what you can and can't do, but just be careful. And somebody did call, so you understand the way I see it. Everybody here might say something different. Am I allowed to get up? Yes, you're a full-grown adult. You can do what you want. Well, what do you consider cross-recruiting? Well, I, how I always looked at it is, if you come into this business and you have a, a, something else you feel like you have to do, don't share it with anybody you didn't know before on passing. That pretty much narrows it down, okay? And I want to tell something else. I'm, I don't mean to rattle on this, but some people think, well, I, I'm putting it on Facebook. I'm not uh, directing it to anybody in Unpassive. Okay. The algorithms in Facebook work like this. The last three or four posts, or let's say 50 posts that you make, people answer them. The people that answer them are, are, are founders. When you make a post, you got 5,000 friends. 5,000 of your friends don't see the post. Never, never, ever. The people that see your post are the ones that always see your post. It's a little bubble. They keep you in a bubble. Why? To get out of the bubble, you have to pay for the advertisement. That's the difference. And if you pay for advertisement, you have to know how to market. Why are we here? It's one big circle. I'm just reminding everybody that when you do it, you're fishing in a bowl of people that are already in on passing. Just, sorry to rant on that, but I just wanted to make that clear. Red. Up to you, sir. Sorry, I ran on so much. Thank you very much. Great to see Mr. Williams here. Always a pleasure, my friend, uh, to see you on with us. It certainly is. Uh, before I get it, I've got a little bit of recap, actually, of what's been going on this week for On Passive. Um, but before I go on to that is that um, Marty was touching on uh, about uh, tuning in, listening to what's going on, and especially to our CEO, Ashmu Farah, and... Part of the reasons why, uh, especially myself, Marty and Chris at the moment, aren't doing any recaps when we hear or see Mr. Mufara is because of the specific words that he's been saying. And that is only listen to me. And the re there is a reason behind this. Yes, when we do our recaps, we give our opinions and the, the reading between the lines. But at the moment, it really is important to get the information from the horse's mouth, and that is our CEO. And this is why we aren't doing our recaps at the moment. We will obviously uh, do them in the future and put our ideas and reasonings behind them. But where we are right at this moment, it is vitally important to uh, listen to what he has said. Talking of that, uh, this week, we have got a few bits and pieces that have gone on in On Passive. Uh, a week ago now, uh, we had uh, On Passive 360 and we had our CEO on there. Again, very good updates with what is going on at the moment. It's always extremely inspiring to so many of us out there to see Ash Mufara on 360. Why? Things are a bit turbulent at the moment, aren't they? And people are looking for that reassurance. They're looking for a steady steadying of the ship. And there's no better person to do that than the guy who's at the helm, the guy who's in charge, and that is our CEO. So we saw him last uh, Wednesday, and that is on a majority of the main face, uh, YouTube channels at the moment. 
And he also blessed us with his presence as well on Sunday night on Heroes. Now, Heroes has been going on, guys, for probably three years on a regular basis on Sunday. And myself, Marty, have always said the same thing. It's a very good uh, webinar to go to if you're looking for information and asking questions. And Ashmi Farah came on that again, just to update us with a few things that are going on. Now, again, I'm gonna reiterate what I've just said. It is important just to listen to our CEO. And every time we see him, guess what? We get another little snippet of information that we didn't get last time. And all of these parts that uh, he gives to us start making up a very big picture indeed. Now, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to know that there's been a lot of turbulence in the company at the moment. And when he is good and ready, he will update us with exactly what has been going on. But we also need to understand that within the business field, guys, you have to be extremely careful and you have to know what you're allowed to say and what you're not allowed to say. And in this instance, our CEO can't say some of the things that he wants to, but one thing he has assured all of us is that he will update us and let us know exactly what has been going on when he is able to. So again, we are very privileged uh, to see him on the screen with us today. But before we go over to Ash Farah, we've got a couple of other people we would like to speak to before that. And we'll, without further ado, we'll hand it over to Mr. Chris Johnson himself. Or even Michael Williams first then. Or Ashmi Farah, <laughs> pointing downwards. Chris is not helping me well, on my screen. <laughs> Oops. Go ahead, Mr. Michael. Oh, okay. I thought it was ladies before gentlemen. All right, all right, no problem. Um, so, <laughs> uh, certainly great to be on here with you guys. Uh, thank you so much for having me. Um, you know, on, on passive just keeps on ticking, folks. Uh, you know, that's that's the bottom line. You know, uh, for me, you know, are my dreams still intact? You know, will I still be able to achieve uh, my goal on being here, which is total freedom, right? Uh, you know, to me, that's just the bottom line. If those things are still in place, right? If, if all the hope and confidence uh, and security is there in that this business is going to deliver what I came here for, then that, that's all that matters to me, you know? And I have full confidence in our CEO. Um, he's a man of integrity. So, you know, th that's all I need to know. You know, I don't need to know the minuscule details uh, as to exactly here, there, and if, and why, and how, and all of that fancy stuff. I just know that I'm surrounded with a lot of people that have a lot of faith, a lot of people who have a lot of trust, a lot of people uh, who are determined or who are resilient, you know, to make sure that we all get to our desired destination. And, and that's what we have in this company, because as we look around, and I know many of you have been looking around, you know, there's nothing wrong with looking around. But if you keep coming to the same conclusion in that, man, the only thing I really see that makes perfect sense is on passive. Why? Because as Marty touched on, you know, a lot of us, you know, we can't recruit, we can't sell, we can't market, you know, we don't understand traffic, we don't understand consumer behavior, we don't know any of this stuff. We don't understand technology, we don't know how to use the tools, where to find the tools, what are good tools, what are good traffic sources, all this stuff that comes uh, with building a successful business. And so this is why so many of us came into Unpassive, and then all of a sudden now we're experts. It just doesn't make any sense to me, right? Um, but of course, everyone is free to do as they see fit uh, because people have to pay bills. I'm not paying your bills. You're not paying my bills. You, you know what I mean? So people have to do what they see fit. But just know that on passive is still your solution. It is still your solution. Just understand that because that's what's going to get you over the hump, folks. That's what's going to get you to all this tough times, because it's not just on passive that's having tough times. Look around you. If any of you invested in stocks and all of that stuff, okay, take a look at your portfolio, right? All of you that are heavily invested into crypto, take a look at your portfolio. 
and the list goes on and on, folks, right? It, it's, it's a worldwide epidemic, because that's what I would call it, right? People are looking, okay, are we in a recession? Uh, yes, it's been a recession for a while. It's just that people haven't realized it, okay? But more and more are starting to experience that, though. So what do you do? Where do you turn, right? Where do you get the help from? Here is a company called On Passive that is looking to deliver for you, that is looking to go above and beyond, that's looking to continue to go forward, comes what may. It, it just doesn't matter how tough it gets because there are real people involved. There are real people out there, real founders, right, that are out there that are looking for that solution. And On Passive is saying, we're going to help you. Our CEO is saying, we're going to help you. We're going to do whatever it takes. We still believe in do it or die. That has not changed. We're going to do whatever it takes to make sure that you win. Folks, that says a lot. He doesn't have to do it. He can walk away and say, you know what? This is too much for me. I, I tried, guys. You know what? It didn't work out. My bad. I have a nice life. You know what I mean? But no, he's standing here. Red is still here. Chris is still here. Marty is still here. And many others are still here. Why? Because we believe and we trust and we know, right? It's not just, well, okay, I, I, I have blind faith. You know, I'm just sending up a prayer and hoping uh, that somebody up there is going to. It's not just that, folks. We're going based upon, you know, what we know in the heart of hearts. You know what I mean? There's something deep inside you, folks. C come on, let's be real. Sometimes you get yourself in trouble and you knew you were getting into trouble, but you still went down that path anyways. And something inside you is telling you, no, 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 don't do it. You know what I mean? You're going to the left and something inside you is saying, no, 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 go to the right. But you still go to the left anyways, right? I'm sure we've all been there. You know what I mean? What I feel inside me when it comes to this company is that we are in the right place. We are on the right track in spite of what you may see in front of you. You know what I mean? In spite of what you see in front of you, we're on the right track. And that's comforting to me because I want to be able to comfort my family. My kids them ask me about on passive all the time. You know what I mean? Even this past week, they ask. You know what I mean? Um, so that's important to me. It's important to my family. And so that's why we're still here. Because on passive is important to us. You are important to us. We came in and we brought others along with us because we want them to succeed. Not to fail, not to be hurt, not to go in the wrong direction, but to move forward. That's why we're here, folks. And we intend to deliver on that. There's no doubt about that. Make no mistake about that. We are here and we're standing strong because when we open back up the doors for you, you're going to love exactly what you see because it's going to get you to your desired destination. Back to you, Chris. Thank you, Michael. I'll be quick, Mr. Ash. I know that you're a busy, busy man. Uh, I What Michael just listened Michael's been blowing me out of the water all day. He's, and let me say this first, bad times create strong people. Okay. Bad times create strong people. Uh, and that's all I'm going to say about that. Think about that one because it's an important thing to remember. Uh, Michael had set out a, on the shiner, he came onto our show today, which was like, I thought would never happen. He did it. I'm thankful for it. He's, he compared the Olympics to unpassive. And I loved, loved his, his definition. I loved his example of how all countries come together in the Olympics and they're hugging and they're just congratulating no matter what place they came in, but they, they came together. And uh, I think it was a perfect example of what uh, Michael was talking about. And it is uh, unpassive is bringing worlds or excuse me, countries together, States together, people together. And again, bad times make strong people. And in those bad times, if you don't stick together with people, uh, it's going to be more bad times. Uh, I want to give you a true story that happened to me this morning real quick. I woke up this morning. I did my normal prayers because I love to pray in the morning. And I get a message saying that I belong. I was part of a, a new shining object. Well, of course, I got a little upset. And I text the individual, you know, why would you put this lie out? There was other people's names, but I can only speak for me. 
Uh, and he said, this person did it. And I text that guy and I know them both. And I said, why would you do this? Well, he put it out and I, so it's not the point. And I communicated with him saying, listen, number one, it's not true. Number two, I need you to go on your group and post the truth out. And I want an apology for me and the gentleman you accused. Uh, and they follow through on that. They did it. And I tell people, if you want to know something about me, number one, Chris Johnson only represents a passive, nothing else, period. But if you want to know something about me, I probably have the all-time Guinness Book World Record, as Ash says, of getting messages of complaints or whatever. But And this brings me into a, a, a thing about crushing on passive. When you post a post like that was done this morning about any leader, anyone in passive, including my brother Ash Mafara, it makes them passive look bad. Even though you don't even know what you're posting or the truth, but you posted it anyways. Like Michael said, we all go down that path. We want to go right, but we go left. That's one of those paths I don't want you to go down. If you don't understand something, if you're uh, if you really want to slander one of us, uh, including Brother Ash, I take it personal on whoever you do it to. If it's not the truth and you got a question that can't be right, then don't post it. You can call me directly. You can text me and ask me. Now, every time that we do something like this, it's another knock for unpassive. And we got enough knocks. We don't want knocks. We want doorbells ringing. Um, I suggested today uh, a lot of people are going on other YouTube channels that really aren't representatives of unpassive. And I could say this now, myself, Marty and Red, we all have YouTube channels. But we're on 17 or 18 other YouTube channels right now. Those are the YouTubes that I would like for you to watch. I can't tell you what to do, but I had a lot of people saying, they're saying this, then don't go there. Come to our channels where we're going to tell you the truth. We're going to be honest and transparent. That's all I'm asking. I'm never going to tell you to do something. I want to sometimes, don't get me wrong, but I try to stay on the, the right path. Do I veer sometimes? Yes, but on passive, I don't veer. I know the truth. I know what Ash is saying. I know what he's doing. I know what his family has sacrificed for all of us. Um, and, and, and it breaks my heart. Again, I'll say it again, that people once again in this world took something so good and tried to smash it. Well, you're not going to smash on passive. You got five guys out here right now that will fight till the end. You got one guy who actually looks pretty good today with his trim mustache, uh, who's always telling us the truth. I want to remind everyone again, the only if person you should be listening to is Ash Mafara. All right. As you heard what Red said earlier, we don't even want it. We want you to listen to Ash. We have all these YouTubes recorded or wherever people put them on their Facebooks. Listen to what he's saying uh, and understand what he's saying. But right now, Faith, 100%, and all these guys on this panel, uh, and just believe, but don't put something out. And I think we've said this at least a million and one million four hundred thousand times. Let's say, if you don't know it, don't post it. If you got to think about it, don't post it. Any, all of us are, are available to ask a question because we all get messages, no other by email or social media, or whatever. Don't be afraid to ask us. We'll tell you the truth. But please, by all means, don't lie about my family or my friends. Um, I take that. A little harsh, but I think I handled it pretty good today. And uh, thank you for the two gentlemen that fessed up to what was going on and they weren't really sure and they thought this said that and they took it down and they reposted an apology. So I want to thank you for that. And that's how we come together. We got to communicate. Ash Mafara communicates with us just about every single week for the last four weeks. He's telling us what's going on. He's explaining to you as much as he can what's going on. And that's a wonderful thing. I mean, I don't. When Ford Motor Company was going down the pooper, okay, a few times, the CEO didn't call me up and say, hey, you know, he didn't he didn't go on a webinar and say, hey, Ford employees, this is what's happened. No, I usually heard it on a news channel somewhere. All right, we're not the news. We're not CNN. We're not Fox. We're on Passive, uh, the greatest company in the world, honest and transparent, and that's exactly what Ash Mafar does. And on that note, I want to bring on the most humble guy I know, who loves everyone. Mr. Ash Mafara, the floor is yours, sir. I do, and I do I have some favorism too. Uh, 
I have four of you here, some of my favorite people on the planet. I appreciate you. I, I love you back, and uh, I'm uh, delighted to be with you again. I have uh, been uh, listening in for the, the uh, last uh, maybe half an hour or 20 minutes, and uh, I don't want to make this uh, in the typical format of delivering a speech and update and all of that. Uh, today, I want to make it more of a conversational uh, theme, if you would. Uh, but first, let me begin with uh, showing my gratitude, my enormous uh, thankfulness to all of you and uh, everybody that is showing their true love, their commitment, their loyalty, and uh, their support uh, in such uh, uncertain times. This will not be forever. This is not going uh, not going to define our outcome. Uh, this is just a passing cloud, and uh, I don't want to give it more attention than it is since it's temporary. Let's focus on the uh, long-term sustainable vision and dream, and that's uh, where I want to take it back to uh, where my brother Michael was talking about uh, where the concept of unpassive, like, you know, the do it or die, actually, it has, it, it, it's more conceptual now and, you know, uh, what I'm trying to say, it has evolved, okay, to a bigger need than it was a couple of years ago. When we decided the concept was appealing, and we loved it for that. Now, having been on the journey, on the practical journey and, and the execution of that dream, we have also evolved in other ways, mentally. Now we understand the importance of Unpassive and the vision of Unpassive. As I said last Sunday with a few uh, of my uh, intelligent friends, I said, Unpassive is not just a business. And it's not just a transactional relationship. It's a true movement to the core where there is a strong ideology and motive behind it that you cannot stop it regardless of the mechanics as we know success especially in the people business is 80 percent psychology mental attitude the mindset all of that and only 20 percent probably less it's about the mechanics or the details it's almost irrelevant if you are miserably failing in the details and the mechanics. You have zero experience whatsoever, but you're made of the right stuff with it. The principles that you have, the faith that you have, as also I heard my brother earlier talking about, if you have that value within you got 80% of success, plus you're showing, plus you're bold enough to take action. Showing up is a big part of success. So not only you have the right mindset and the clarity on the vision, on the ideology, you want to achieve that, but you also took action, lots of action. You've invested a lot of time in, into it. So it becomes even greater than 80% your success ratio. It's almost you're there. Now, mechanically, it's not fair to say we failed you know, the 100%, which equal 20% of the entire process. Uh, you don't need to be Michael Williams to understand the math I did. Uh, so <laughs> it's simple. 20% is, is, you know, the mechanics, the the details or the business logistics and all of that, uh, it's only 20% of your overall success. But say we got a good portion of it, we're way up high, 90, 95%, 90, 
in, in, into the success uh, path, but it's only a matter of time to reach that outcome. And the outcome is, is sustainable in a way that is, is renewable. It's not, we're not going to reach a certain, okay, we're going to reach this number. Okay, we're a company that is going to achieve this number of customers or this uh, number of whatever wealth or, and that's it. No, this is a lifelong journey. Even beyond that, I, I believe it's a legacy that we could leave here on earth for generations to come. Why? Because we're sick and tired of what's happening there. The greed, the theft that is happening in the real world. Okay, we're sick and tired. Like as he rightfully said, uh, yeah, there is a recession. We're just not announcing that economy is dead anyway, okay? Everywhere. And it's, it never matter. If I don't tell you the president, you go have a nap for five years and wake up and I tell you, based on the facts on the ground, okay, and your personal life, guess who was the president for the five years? You're not going to know. It's irrelevant. That would be amazing if I could sleep five years. But uh, back to the things that can bring us together. I know you, you, you mentioned sports. I agree, okay, some people like that. But I don't like the sport that you just like sit on the couch and watch and you think like, oh, you are like a muscular, you know, red, red fern. Okay, no, 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 no. You're just, you're just a potato couch, okay, laying down and watching TV and just tap in the channel to have sports on it, on the screen, but you have nothing to do with sports. Okay, I like you to be in the field and sweating. That's the type of sports I'd like uh, to talk about. Now, uh, let's add the topic that uh, Chris and I love to mention, which is uh, food, bring us together. True, it's a fact. Uh, music, okay, travel, all those are you know, things we have more in common, you know, safety, uh, good family structure. We, those are our value. Okay. So there's so much that can bring us together, but you know, there's one thing that we all love and we can't have enough of. And when we have a solution that can be the center, the center of this, uh, the uh, ideology or movement, money whether it's sports or food or music or travel, it gets a lot better to a different level when you have enough money. And the other part is you're going to need time to enjoy the other stuff, whether social life or family time. Those are our values. We share our shared values. No matter where you are, no matter who you are, okay, those are our shared values. You've you got to like something. I never heard somebody, oh, I hate food. I'm not going to eat. That's it. I'm done with food. I'm sick and tired of food. I'm no longer going to eat any bite, okay? It's like, I don't believe in gravity. Just go jump from the uh, Empire Building, <laughs> from the rooftop. <laughs> I say no gravity, okay? You cannot, it's a law, okay? So I love those values, but what makes them more enjoyable is if we have the time, if we have the money, to obviously live them up. Okay, uh, so uh, I'm going to go back to the concept of unpassive, focusing on years ago, we saw the need because there's a gap between the rich and poor. There's a gap between, you know, middle class and, you know, the 3,000 billionaires uh, globally or uh, all those, uh, uh, you know, contrasts in our society uh, People in different regions have a different life or li lifestyle than others. We we saw we could have a platform where it can kind of like balance the uh, uh, the, the battlefield, if you wish, okay, uh, or the playing field. Now, having been working on it, we've invested more now, so we have a bigger desire because I, I mentioned the reservoir is a big, okay, uh, motive when you've invested something in a in a long relationship okay or business or any activity if your investment time wise just a couple of days yeah it's not working i'm gonna quit i change direction you're open to that but when you've invested almost like your most golden time of your life on such a journey to achieve that goal
it's hard to quit. It's almost impossible to quit because you've invested a lot, your tears, your blood, your time, your emotions, and you are closer to the safe harbor. A hundred meter swim. You swim one meter and you get tired or demotivated. Do you go back the 99 to the other side or you just go back one meter? One. So you can quit. If you've invested your energy and your physicality to reach 90% to the other side, you cross 99 or I'm sorry, 90, 90 meters of your destination. So you have 10 to reach. I know you're tired. You have 10 to reach the, the, the desired destination or 90 to go back and give up. Which one makes more sense? Or give up and sink. A, B, C, which one? It's very obvious. You are ready to fight, to go all the way, whatever it takes, deadly, until you get to the other side. Because you're almost there. And you've invested a lot. You've been sweating. You've been working so hard on the 90 meters. You're almost there, so you would do it. So let's talk about that. So our vision is now more embodied in us, okay, more necessary more mandatory our success than a while ago the reasons are enormous limitless but i'll give you a few why on passive is more important or the vision the ideology of on passive today is far more important today than five years ago why number one We see the other side. What are our choices? What are our options? It's the most reasonable, logical, lovable concept that we see out there. Nobody offers better. Don't wait for a better solution from the White House or the Pink House or whatever bangle, it's not going to come from a president. We've got to create our own economy as the people of this planet, beautiful planet. Don't wait for a solution to be handed to you from whoever, you know, having a nice talk. And they always deliver one thing. Cheat their way in to the top and fail to deliver one single thing for you and me. That's the only thing they deliver, failure. So they steal our hopes and dreams and we put them in the wrong. So, but when you, have, when you have a movement, a tribe such as on Passive and those incredible leaders around, you understand that it's coming from people who care who are actually in the field, and they mean to do such a thing. They're not running for any office or position. They're doing it from the heart, by design. Not for any cheap reason. Number two, because of who we have with us today. Five years ago, yeah, we were a small group, okay, much smaller than today. But being together today for that invested time,
we have more minds on the vision, more eyes on the vision, more people who are supporting that, more talent, more expertise, more 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 love, more so okay, in every aspect. So because of those, in every angle you look at it, it adds more power to the process so we can get to where we want to go. Because we have more power with, with from the people within. Plus, let's look at the other side. Cannot disappoint that many people anymore. If it's desired by, by that number of people, then it's a big deal. Same thing goes by how many people are trying to kind of like say resist i know their imaginary dream is to destroy us <laughs> but uh good luck with that now when you realize how big of a deal it is we're up to something so pretty <laughs> so that's why uh it matters more today than five years ago We've invested time, we've invested money, energy, and relationship, you know, ups and downs, good and bad, uh, laughter, cries, all of that. It's not easy to let that go. We are 90% closer to the other side where we want to go. It's a disaster to think of quitting or sinking or going back. There's no way. Let me add another thing, which is, yeah, we've been here, and the information is out there. The IT providers or the technology providers or the business providers in different sectors have heard about such a nice vision provided by us. And some were very involved, paying to the paying attention to the details. Yet, they didn't care to provide a better solution or to compete in in a constructive way. So even if the blueprint is obvious right now, it's no secret to all of us. Yet, nobody bothers, nobody cares, because it's not that good for them. We come to know people so close to know their life, their stories, and because of that, we cannot let them down. Not on my dead body, I would let one of them down. If they're genuine with us, we'll do whatever we could in our power, even the impossible. We'll go the ugliest path, just not to disappoint any of those incredible people. It's a beautiful concept, what we have. It's a beautiful concept. Don't pay attention to the mechanics. They're irrelevant. The overall success is already within reach. It's, it's almost in hands. It's needed. It is so much needed today because of the time we've invested, because nobody bothers, okay, because of the attraction we have, who we have, all those reasons. And I can give you more and more, and you you can add your own if you want to uh, chime in any time, perhaps. Uh, and another thing is we've learned a lot. We believe we're more effective now than a while ago. We make mistakes by trusting the wrong pals or the enemy within or uh, we make mistakes out of love 
because we're made of the right stuff based on a good intention we made mistakes in good faith of some individuals but uh, most people you would reevaluate and question those principles should I trust should I have a care or uh, why should I bother uh, actually that would be the biggest disaster you would uh, have in your life if you let evil overtake the good in our life. It becomes more important for you to fight and stick to your principles because you know they're bothering so many crooked people. As my brother Chris Johnson said, uh, most handsome man in uh, 2024 in the state of uh, Michigan. Uh, I've seen that somewhere, right? <laughs> Got to lighten up the process. Okay, so uh, select a proper resource to get your information from. If you listen to, to somebody and all you're hearing is doom and gloom and they're crying about everything, you're going to be probably in the hospital because it's unhealthy. Why you shouldn't listen to unsuccessful people? Number one, they're not successful. <laughs> unsuccessful people, they're not successful. Why would you listen to somebody who's even unknown? Two, they don't offer you a solution. They're just crying and, and bitching about everything. No matter what you do, they're going to find something to pick on. Always the dark side of everything. So is it healthy for you to listen? No. Okay, no. Uh, keep in mind, the whole thing about picking your source, I said picking, it's optional. That's the beautiful side of the internet and today's media. You choose, you click, you decide, and you select what you want to hear. Why would you want to select something negative and it's going to suck your time and energy? Why would you do that? If somebody's adding value, whether it's information, hope, promise, or uh, a practical solution, or something positive, enabling you to think different, better, all of it. I would listen to them, sure. But if somebody's telling you, it's no, it's ugly, it's impossible, you cannot do this, you're going to lose, you're a loser, why are you doing that? And they're not giving you a solution or a alternative. Why would you listen to them? One negative thought shuts down your immunity system for 48 hours, not two hours, not four minutes, 48 hours. Those are two days in Denmark, in Costa Rica, in Bangladesh. No matter where you are, 24 hours, twice. One negative thought. So if you sit down and listen to <laughs> one of those idiots for an hour and you get, let's say, five day, five um Five or, 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 you know, maybe 10 negative thoughts, you're destroyed for the month. So all you need is listen to a one-hour rant of an idiot, unsuccessful loser. So one a month, your life is over. So be careful about the sources of your information, the knowledge, and the uh, uh, you know the facts. Okay, only listen to people who are ahead of you. They're successful. They're ahead, like I don't want to say above you, but they're 
been there, okay? They have been through that journey and they know how to take you there, okay? Walk you by the hand to take you where, okay? Where you want to go. Like Michael Williams said, okay, he's been there. He's been successful. I would listen to him every minute he is available. He's given me that because good leaders are always available to help. Their time is valuable, but they're always available, not just when it's lucrative for them or profitable when they have cheap clicks or views okay no no matter what they're showing up day in day out they're giving you their time they're available good leaders are available to help you because they mean and they're interested in your success Corrupted leaders or so-called leaders, you think they're leaders, you're listening to them, they're sucking your time and money, and they're not giving you an option or alternative or any opportunity. They're not offering you anything positive. They only will show up when it's profitable for them, when it's beneficial for them. Good leaders are able to lead you, able. They're available, they're able. They're available, and they're able. Doesn't matter, you know, for somebody who's unable, and they give you 24 hours of their time. <laughs> it's a waste of your time, too. Gotta be able. Listen to somebody who's able, who's been through that before. But now, they're just doing it with you. They're allowing you to be with, in, and it, they're doing it much bigger, much bigger, at a, at a higher scale and much better because they have experience. I often like the concept and the, and the analogy of uh, travel guide versus travel agent. So if somebody is preaching lots of theory and bogus and all of that and they haven't even done that to themselves like they're they're booking you to destinations they've never been to somebody would sell you something delusional and they've never been there. When a travel guide will actually be there in the field, walk you by the hand. I have been there many, 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 many times and I'm just taking you there. I know all the, the detours, I know the details, I walk you, I'll take you to the right food, to the place, the people, they know everything. They've been there, they're just taking you there this time. That's it. You need a travel guide. So don't waste your time and energy with unsuccessful people. First of all, before you read any book, look at the cover, at the writer, the source, do you want to be like them? If somebody I wouldn't wish to be like, how would I listen to them? So I'm going to ask you, all of you are listening to those incredible people who care about your life, okay? Question that again. Think again today. One more time. Do you want to be like them? Do you want to achieve what they've achieved, which is zero and misery? Or do you want to be with people who will stretch your dream and make you think bigger, bolder? There's a different way. There's another way. And we're going to fight. We're going to try together in unity, in love. And we can do it. Make no mistake, we can achieve that. So I didn't want to talk about the mechanics and the details and all that. Like Red said, okay, tribulant. Doesn't matter, okay? We're gonna get there. Crawling, flying on a rocket, on a boat, on a scooter, skating, it doesn't matter. We're gonna get there, okay? We're gonna get there. It doesn't matter how. 
There's so many ways to go to Jamaica. I mean, Rome. <laughs> I love uh, this theme of uh, 360 because you have better speakers than me every time. I don't like it when you just invite me here, okay? The focus would be on me. So I'm very happy. Again, I'm delighted to be here. And again, I would love for you to, to, uh, to get in. I didn't want to have a speech in a way, but uh, make no mistake. Uh, we know what's coming and we know we always offer solutions. You get stuck in one way, no problem. There's another way, okay? So uh, yeah, uh, some things didn't work, okay? Um, doesn't matter the reasons we'll we'll have we'll invite you one day we'll say bring your popcorn some tissues or your beverage whatever it is and sit down and we're going to tell you a story okay we'll we'll let you know that in time it's not going to change anything just for curiosity maybe okay now what matters to you today we know we are on the right track with the right people and we're going to win all the way we're going to give you the time, the, the money, the solutions that you need to improve your life. There's a massive, massive need for the concept and the idea of Unpassive. It's absolutely a better way. It's more fair. It's more, uh, it has more justice, if you wish, okay? Anybody can succeed, okay? Let, let me tell you something. Uh, this is just, it, it should go by without saying which is because of what's happening, it made me think, what's your chance of achieving that on your own? Success is not easy. Here's the good news. You're not risking your own money or time or, you know, you're not being... fought in every dimension like we are. So this is re it's an easy ride for you, okay? So you just get the positive results. And when it's not good, you don't have to pay the price. So when you get somebody who's telling you, come on, let me do it, ride along, I'll take you to where you want to go, and I'll take all the heat, I'll take all the arrows thrown at me. You're safe, you're protected. Nothing is going to come your way. You got nothing to lose, number one. And number two, you don't get that again in your life. You don't get that twice. No chance that you would ever get this again in your life. Where you have somebody that is doing it for you better than you can do it on your own. Trust me. And they have done it before, but they're including you this time at a bigger scale. When you get that, don't question. Don't think. Just jump. So, because of that, when you think about the risk of being with us, seriously, the risk is at us, okay? When you think about that, okay, we are taking the risk. We are paying the price. There are amazing people around us from this uh, community who are contributing heavily. Also, they got some of the heat uh, being in the battle too, but it just makes us stronger because it's not one man. It's not a one man show. It's not one person who's who's doing that so there are so many of us on the company side um, from the leaders around everybody we have enough people to fight for the vision for the dream on your behalf and you just enjoy the fruit and the harvest you got nothing to lose Absolutely nothing. And everything to, to gain. Everything to gain. Uh, look at history. Look at the record. This hasn't been done before. For the first time, a company, a person, 
a group of people, a team, is willing to pay the price for your success using their money, their time, their sacrifice, the reputation, all of that to make it possible for you and for those who are probably have no chance, zero chance. The vast majority of, of the, you know, the global population would have zero chance to achieve what could be achieved when we do it in, a, in, in our group. So because of that, um, it's inevitable for you to evaluate your thinking, reset your mindset, and um, make sure that you're listening to the right people, to the, to the clean ethical people with integrity, transparency, and what matters most is what's their intention toward you, your family, your future. What would this idiot do to your life? Okay, uh, I'm talking about the unsuccessful people. If you continue listening to them, following them, believing in them, what would happen to you five years from now, 10 years from now? Or people who are really genuine about making a difference, positive impact. What would happen to you if you listen and engage and do business with them? The decision is simple, is easy, is a no-brainer. Be wise, be selective about your time, your energy, your dreams, and know who to ride with. I said, make it conversational. I <laughs> suppressed your appetite to speak for a month, I guess. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Back so, to you. I'm yeah, I'll, I'll make it conversational with you. Um, you know, everything that you're saying is so right. Um, you know, unsuccessful you're people. You're right about that too. Have, <laughs> have, have <laughs> unsuccessful habits. Man. Right? Unsuccessful people have unsuccessful habits. It's just that simple. And successful people have successful habits and they leave clues. Right? Successful people leave clues. Um, you know, again, lots of great books out there, whatever, but you can look and see uh, what people are doing. Um, you know, when you listen to people speak, yeah, some people, you know, can fool you for a limited time. It's not something that's lasting. Right, so you know when somebody uh, is 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 truthful. You know when somebody's coming to you and they mean you good, like they're not trying to harm you. Um, you know, so when we when we hear uh, you speak specifically, Ash, um, and you come time and time again, uh, you know that speak volume, right? I mean th that that's incredible. Uh, you know, you're not somewhere in some corner, you know, hiding, ducking, whatever. You, you know what I mean? Like you're here to deliver something that's going to be life changing for people and you stand behind it firmly. And that's what we love about you. Right. It's, it's not to come and, and praise you and all this nonsense stuff. It's, it's just speaking the truth that I want to surround myself with people that's going in the right direction. I want to surround myself with people that think the way I think people who want to make the world a better place. Right. Because it's been said so many times. But how many people have actually lived up to that? How many people have actually gone to bat for people? We already know what the numbers are. People can Google it and see how many people are in poverty and all this crazy stuff. We're talking about billions of people. That's just the bottom line. So if, if um, you know, people had good intentions, then something would have been done about this a long time ago. So why is it that year after year after year, it just gets worse and worse and worse? It doesn't get better. Where is the solution? So here comes on passive saying, hey, you know what? Enough is enough. We get it. People are tired. You know, people are searching. People actually want to achieve. But where's the money, right? You know, we don't want to see some account that's showing this crazy and we can't access it. Like, where's the money? Money is made when sales are made. You have to sell something. And so you make money that way. To me, that is real. That's a real business. Because you know what? Hey, if I made two sales, hey, I know I made money from those two sales. So when we look at on passive and see that this company is about how can we help every single one? Not just because we know there's lots of you know great companies out there, absolutely, and they sell great products. 
but are they helping everyone put money in their pockets so that they can actually pay their bills and have a decent quality of life? Are they doing that? And the answer is no. What they do is they continue to take from people. They don't care how poor you are. They still take your last dollar from you, right? And so that's what we're saying is when we look and see what on passive is about, all we see is a company that says, yes, we can be the difference maker. And that's what I love about this company. That, that is why I'm here and I'm still excited about what we have in store and what is coming for all of us because it is there. And as you said, we are that much closer. It's not time to retreat. It's not time to say, oh boy, we got to start over from scratch. And no, you make adjustments, right? And then you move forward. Like that, that's how you win, right? That's how you win. And that's what this is all about. So I love it. I love it too. You know what? It's necessary to adjust because what you know today, you didn't know five years ago. What you know five years ago is probably irrelevant today. So it is necessary to be dynamic. Any leader should be very dynamic and act upon uh, the developments and journey. So it is necessary. In my life, I have two channels on my radio. Okay. It's one called N, stands for negative, and the other one is P obviously stands for positive. I get to choose every day to tune in only positive casting and broadcast. That's the only thing I would listen to. If you're listening to somebody, always think of who they are and what's the source of that information. What's their, what's their achievement and accomplishment, okay? Look at that. If, you want, if you're impressed, go for it. And if they do offer you a, a slice of their success, and I'm not just talking about wealth, whether, whether it's information or something inspiring, any value. Go for it. Follow them. But I wouldn't follow somebody that I'm doing much better than them. Or I have another opportunity that, uh, let's say in our case. So let me, let, me, let me break it down a little you know, easier for you. Okay. You listen to somebody that is negative. They're known unsuccessful they're unknown they're just like because they're they're like a, a bug or piggybacking on on our shoulders in a way that okay well, there's a lot of talk about this concept of this company or this man or this uh, uh ideology all right okay so if i talk about it chances you know, any number is a, is a good number. If I talk about me and myself, I'm assuming, you know, the negative, okay? Nobody's interested. But if I talk about somebody else in a negative way, I get that. They choose the negative way. Now, you have a choice to say the positive way. Why are you talking about on passive, negatively, if it's so horrible? If you don't offer a solution, why are you wasting your time? Like a couple of hours a day. You know it's good, but you're too loser, like you're too idiot to believe that you even have a shot. And you chose the, the, the evil way to tap in that momentum. When you could choose to ride along and be constructive, we could listen and make it better if you have something. But, but I'm going to go back to you. Anybody here, and I'm passive or would listen to this, think about this. If you're listening to somebody who's not taking you to where you want to go, stop that. It's not going to happen in 20 years or in 3,000 years. Because you cannot give what you do not have. If somebody doesn't have it, they don't have a track record of success or any positivity. They haven't done any good to anybody. Okay. Not even their own self or future. Because they're not working on that. They're just bitching about somebody else. And moaning and grumping. That, that's not success. They're miserable. So you want to follow them and choose to be inspired by them to go where they're, go they're going downhill. Okay, They're losers, period, officially. They have a very, very high degree in misery in losers okay so from the loser university and and if you have somebody that who's done it the results are out there they've done it 
and they're offering you a seat to ride with them on this journey. Would you think about that? Is it a difficult, tough choice? I, it seems like my brothers uh, don't want to don't want to talk to you, so I'll just take uh, the yeah, opportunity. I'll, 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 I'll talk all the time. <laughs> Not a problem. Uh, as you were saying about uh, being an individual and uh, succeeding, whereas being part of a team and all the rest of it is uh, a, a greater chance of success, and that is very true. Success in numbers. I mean, I'll give you the, one of the analogies that uh, I always equate to being together and successful in numbers. In fact, there's two analogies uh, for this. But the first one is when I was in the army, uh, I ended up becoming uh, uh, an instructor teaching new recruits uh, who joined in. And we used to have squads of around about 40 people. Now, when you have 40 individuals all coming together, that is exactly what they are. They're all individuals. So we don't want people to be individuals in the army we want people to guess what work as a team work for each other and to become one unit so part of those early days of when people join is that you teach them that they are going to be more successful when guess what they are working for each other for a common goal and their common goal was to pass basic training in 10 weeks and this is why we uh, molded, manipulated, whatever you want to call it, to get these 40 individuals to their goal of becoming soldiers in uh, the 10 week period. Also, the other analogy for success in numbers is you only had to look at the animal world. Look at shoals of fish, for instance. Why do they shoal together in tight clumps of all the same people, or in this case, all the same fish, all in one place, because it guarantees the success of their species. It guarantees that they are going to spawn and reproduce and get to what their goal is of that. The animal kingdom is exactly the same way. Why do their herds of wildebeest have mass migrations on and another reason, with all the uh, same? They're afraid of... Uh a good captain fisherman that would uh, would catch them, like Chris Johnson. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, well, that's never going to happen if Chris Johnson is fishing. Because he catches <laughs> about every fish in the ocean. <laughs> only, only apparently this big. And this is exactly the same in the business world. If you have a, uh opportunity, yeah, that is going to give you that team success. Be part of a family or a unit of people that is going to take you right. as an individual with you to your goal, right. why wouldn't you jump on it? Why wouldn't you right. al align yourself and attach yourself with that uh, company who is going to take you around? All you have to do is be there. Be in the middle of that shoal. Let the peripheral of the company take all the hits, take the bites, take all the flack that it's going to. We are putting you in the middle right. of it yeah. all and everything around you is taking the hit. Back to you, Ash. Brother Red, I want to say something so, so quick before I forget the idea. Uh, so number one, that uh, obviously Tony Robbins said, if you want to be successful like somebody, model them, see what they're doing or, you know, but it gets even easier you don't even have to follow or study. Somebody is telling you, this is what I'm doing. This is what I've accomplished, okay? Somebody who's generated hundreds of millions, for example, in terms of business, right? And they're telling you, yeah, come. I, I would allow you to be a partner. What should I do? Nothing. It's really a very, very simple decision. And... We often question in the um, network marketing and, you know, in the field when somebody asks you, well, uh, have you done any money? Have you uh, earned any money? Okay. Or what? Uh, what's in it for you? Uh, but don't get uh, tripped by, by that question. You can say, my partner, whether it's Ash or Michael or, okay, or DeGarmo, you can say, is doing so and so partner we're partners in success so 
if if I did it and I'm inviting you along, then it's only a matter of time for you to have a share of that wealth and success. So always remember that. So you are being invited technically to somebody who's done it over and over, not just once. So they obviously they knew it, they know how to do it, and every time they ramp it up, obviously. So sound like okay, what's the next thing? Hundreds of millions, billions. Okay, so they're on a track to set records, and they're telling you, yeah, come, be a partner. You don't have to sell your kidney. Just this come is, in. This is, yeah. this is the this is the brilliant thing with on passive ash. Okay, we know that there there are people out there who've done it, right? Uh, you know, successful people, right? And they they have courses and they're teaching people and they're trying to you know help people to be better and all of this stuff. Theory. But we but we know we know that a lot of these people who are trying to learn from these mentor gurus, whatever you want to call them. Right. Not that they're not successful, not that they haven't done it before, but we know that the vast majority of people who try to learn from them still can't get it done. They still can't. Even though I say, well, here's the formula. Here's the, here, here's the tools to use. They still can't get it done. The brilliance about on passive is on passive is saying, you know what? We understand that also. We understand that. What we're saying for you is guess what? We're going to put it all together, do all the heavy lifting. You don't have to come in and try to learn AI and tech and all this other fancy stuff and how to build a website and how to put this together, how to create copywriting, you know, sales letters, funnels, this, that, all this fancy stuff. You don't have to do all of that because we know if we give you and say, here you go, here's all the training, watch all these videos. And it's going to show you how to do it. The majority of people, number one, they probably won't even go through the process, number one. Number two, if they do go through the process, there's still going to be a vast amount of them that will still not succeed. The brilliance in on passive is saying, hey, we know all of that. So guess what we're going to do? We're going to take it to another step, another level, right? We're going to take it to another level by simply saying, hey, it is possible to automate it, guys. It is possible to put it all together. It is possible to make sure that you have real products, that you have a proper way to market it, proper traffic, all these things that works, put it all together, here you go. You can't fail. It's impossible to fail. That's the difference because even though I'm the guru, right, and I'm the best of the best and I'm showing you what to do, it doesn't mean that you're going to succeed. It doesn't mean that you're going to win. It just doesn't mean that, folks. This is where on passive separate itself from others. I want to add one more thing. I love what you said, but look at this. You also want to look for somebody who's actually interested in your success. Mm -hmm. We may not expect somebody to be more interested in your success rather than their own. To my knowledge, we're the only entity and platform that truly cares about your success, your results more than ours. We're done. We don't need much. It's in fact, it's more of a liability to to sacrifice more for. There's not much gain except your own gain. You don't find this situation again in your life. This is the first to my knowledge, again, I may be wrong, okay, uh, but if it is very obvious to me that we're more interested in your own success, yourself, your life, your future, your family future, more, way more. We can fight for that more than we can do it for ourselves. We're fine. We can be set for life if we choose to, okay, but the, the only thing that we're doing this is because of you. It's, there's no question about this. So you want to look at somebody. Are they actually interested in another profit, uh, you know, venture? Or how could they fool you one more time and, and, and keep cycling that momentum to their self-benefit? Or they're just working hard 
to make it better for you, to make something that works for you, at least trying for you. They're actually more motivated, more driven to make it happen for you. If you're actually positively engaged and, and genuine about uh, that and being, you know, uh, open in a positive way. As you could tell, I'm fired up. <laughs> I, I don't think it's a secret, but uh, there is obvious reasons for that, okay? Uh, and I, I cannot tell you how humbled I am by your support and your advocacy and your enormous love and you know compassion. Uh, I don't, I don't want to call it empathy. Uh, you're thinking we're going to be fine, okay? We're big, big, uh, you know, boys, and uh, we're we're tough guys, okay? We can, we can take some uh, shots here and there. So uh, it's okay to get a couple punches here and there. That's okay. Um, that's not going to define who we are. We're made of the real stuff. I haven't talked to anybody from New Jersey today. I would love to hear anything. Okay. I'll try to squeeze something in here. You guys are pretty... Are you from New Jersey? Believe it or not. It's an honor, man. Yeah, I'm, it sure <laughs> is. Yeah. Uh, I don't know about that. Yeah, you know, we've all been in this journey minimum 26 months, some of us six years, right? And I... For myself personally, and many, 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 many people, that hundreds, hundreds that I've met, they're taller, they're more proud, they're becoming more of themselves. What company would give you that? Zero. If I said to some people one time, I said, look, I want you to think about this for a minute. If Mr. Mifora went out and built his system to kill it. That's exactly what he did, but he scaled it so all of us can kill it. You get to be a bodybuilder look and you don't have to lift any weights. <laughs> I mean, all of the work is done for us, all of it. Yes, there's people out there which, which you're thinking about if you live 80 years and you spend eight years, I'm on going on six. I mean, we're talking about 7% of my life. I've been here in my... Am I in it to win it? You freaking right I am. Yes, I could have gone. I could have walked away. I could have did whatever. I had it never crosses my mind. And I say, and I say this. There is nothing better. We know that. I mean, all of us know that. It's not, I don't need to preach that to you or tell that to you, but I'm telling you this. And it was said here, I've seen people be given certain tools to succeed a little better. And a lot of times they don't use it. But with this unpassive thing where, where it, it takes you to the end, it automates it all. Um, it will never come again. I'm not saying it might, it might not. I've been in at least, I hate to count it, but about 50 different businesses in the last 20 years. And every one of them, I jumped in both feet, skydive, I'm in it. But I, but within, within a couple of weeks, something didn't feel right. And within a month, I'm starting to look for an escape route because something's not right. And then in two months, at the most, the company's gone. And what did I do? I invested a lot of time and effort. But here, we built a family. We built trust. Ash Mabara hasn't budged. You're right. A, a, a normal person would be gone. Thank God he's not normal. I don't think any of us are normal. And I'm going to tell you something. Did you know that some of the negative people have been working the whole six, the whole five and a half years I've been in? And they told me from day one, it won't be here next week. They should look at their own notes. Now, what time did they waste and what did they accomplish? Zero. And they're always there. By the way, this isn't unique. There's been negative people from the day 
mammals on the planet. No, no doubt about it. I don't try to change them. I, I really don't care what they do. I care about everybody here in Unpass it because we all have a vested interest. And one thing I said, and I believe this 100%, I never wanted to be a dictator. You guide people where they, you, you guide them, you walk with them and always lift people above yourself. If you do that, loving thy neighbor, for example, treat them as good, if not better than you would treat yourself. What else can come from that? Nothing but good, nothing but good. And, and I'm telling you, I see people becoming themselves. And they say, well, I'm passive. I'm passive didn't make you. It gave you the freedom to believe in you. And you did it. And we we pointed out, I see people doing stuff. I'm listening to people. We're doing Shine the Light right now. And, I, and at first, I wasn't sure how it was going to work out. I love it. I'm meeting people and really finding out. Michael Williams, I've known him five and a half years. Thought I knew him. Today, he talked and said some stuff I did not know. And... I respected the guy 100% before today, but I love him even more after today, okay? Other than, yeah, well, <laughs> anyway. You know what fact, else he said? I, I loved it, if you allow me, okay? Yeah. Uh, when he talked about some people talk and have books or uh, textbooks or uh, courses, uh, videos about success and all that, it's all beautiful, theoretical. But it just worked for them talking about it. And, so, and and often they're talking about a conceptual thing where they didn't actually achieve it. I, I'm not talking about somebody who actually did it and where they're writing, this is how you do this. But hypothetical scenario. Let's use one of the big names. I don't want to dictate the name, uh, choose something in your head, somebody like at, at a global scale, they are wealthy, successful, or achievers in any way, and you wish they would share with you how to become successful. At most, you're going to get a bunch of talk. Talk is cheap. It's impossible. Think about that, okay? Any of them is going to come and say, you know what? I'll develop a system that also work for you, designed for you, and you sit next to me. You ride. I will drive. I know how to drive. I know where to take you. I know what doesn't work. Not just talk, pay me. You're on your own. It's, come on. I mean... We get the manual with a, a little shoe shelf uh, from Ikea. And we still struggle with it, right? It's like 20 pieces, right? Every time I do it, my wife would have to reassemble it. Tells you how handy man I am. <laughs> Imagine something that is, is like going to... Um, provide success and value to every society on the planet. It's yep. it's almost impossible. Yeah. You give a plans to somebody on how to build a car, on pass it gives you the car. So and and we'll difference. drive we'll and we'll tell you to sit in the passenger seat and you know yeah. what temperature do you like, AC, the, radio, the seat, uh, you know, just it. Yes. Uh, maybe a massage from the back or something. Just relax, okay? And let's take a tour. It can't get any better, guys. Uh, is anybody listening to us or we're we just like a bunch of No, old... I just checked uh, YouTube. Nobody's there. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> like... <laughs> okay. Uh, if you like what we said, we can do it again. I don't know. Uh, we can do it again. It's not the last one. But, I can uh, only look good so long, Ash. So don't keep repeating. I can only look this good so long. Ten thousand people watching us. <laughs> wow, that many intelligent people. I said ten thousand <laughs> people watching us. That many intelligent people. They're, they're, I, I'm shocked. Uh, you're right. 
<laughs> I know where you're going with that. <laughs> oh, it's just, lovely. It's fun. I just want to know. Sure. The, all one, two, three, four, just checking. All four of you must be mind readers because everything you guys just said is what I wanted to say. I didn't get the opportunity to say, but I'm glad you said it. Yeah, yeah. Of course, Chris. <laughs> Hey, listen, yeah, cool. if you want to know about cooking, you go to Red Redfern. If you want to know about cooking, you come to me. I'm going to teach you how to create the greatest microwave popcorn in the world. This is what I have to say <laughs> in Raven's terms. Okay? I'm insulted. You <laughs> underestimated my cooking skill. <laughs> Marketing, driving traffic, um, extremely smart people. That's who you talk to is Ashma Fire. That's who you listen to. Uh, minus Michael, because I know he's he's up and all that stuff, too. And Me who you're going to vote for this year, guys? Ugh. Personally, I am voting for Captain Chris Johnson, <laughs> sexiest man on earth. I told you, Marty's going to be my vice president. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord, what would the world be like then? Probably a lot better, to be honest with you. I will, yeah. definitely, I will definitely spotlight you, Chris. <laughs> oh, speaking of spotlight, uh, you know, uh, Red, when you were talking about somebody has been, you know, through that uh, path and, and they're inviting you. Okay. Uh, also, success can be borrowed. Whether success or authority or any achievement if somebody's lending you that, okay, if you're not that person, right, yet, but somebody's telling you, whatever I have, I can share it with you, right? They're allowing you to borrow their success. Absolutely. So somebody is like bombing it and killing it, crushing it, okay, with, you know, massive success. And they're telling you, come on, be with me. I'm open. I'm, I'm not greedy as much as you want you haul okay <laughs> and uh it's it's rare where somebody is allowing you to borrow their success and their authority Absolutely. immediately so don't worry who you who you are uh you don't have to be as good as red in cooking as sexy as chris in physicality as genius as mr degarmo or williams okay you don't have to be like that okay they're allowing you to borrow that and take it and um, i don't want to kill it by talking about myself but chris know that only a bad idea came in i'm gonna take it back but <laughs> uh uh, truthfully, it's a, it's a rare it's a rare situation. It's a rare opportunity where you can borrow. You can literally uh, grab your success. But in, in piggybacking what you said about IKEA, right? So in, instead of struggling and going through the manual and it's taking you forever, hours upon hours to figure out how to put this thing together, well, imagine you just brought an expert in. And said, hey, can you? You know, maybe your neighbor's an expert. You call your neighbor over and say, hey, here, I'll give you, a, I don't know, a bottle of beer or whatever, wow, right? Wow. And and that person in 10 minutes flat, it's done, it's finished, right. it's done. You, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, that's what, that's what you're talking about. You can borrow um, somebody else's expertise. You don't necessarily have to be that expert. And again, that's what we have here in On Passive. Right, yep. It's, yep. Ash, yep. It's, it's just beautiful, man. It, it, and it by really the way, I, in, in the 20 years I've been doing this full time, no, but no one ever loaned me their success, not once. They told me so what it's about them. What, it's about that. You paid for their success, yes. Exactly right. You could do this. You could do this and buy. And then I found well, you could buy this thing, and I'd buy all these things, and come to find out, they're obsolete. Yeah. They didn't even do it. It's like an owner's manual to build an engine. You Many of that? them, no. it just <laughs> randomly happened. One partial success somewhere, somehow. Yeah. Probably luck or whatever you call it. And now they claim they're experts on it. 
So oh. validate that. If you're with somebody that is always talking about themselves, okay, and nothing about you, and they don't even see you, you're invisible to them, uh, you got to rethink that. Yep. The last business, me and Redburn, we had that problem. Yep. My guy. Exactly uh, the same thing. But brother, we're not even offering IKEA junk, low quality, contemporary little <laughs> thing. No, we're talking about something luxurious. Well, I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't take you for an Mahogany, IKEA guy. <laughs> heavy wood. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. He's yeah. gonna get sleep I, by IKEA. I was, I, I was just going with your example. I didn't take you for an IKEA guy, but you know. <laughs> why would you? Why would you follow a fool? Yeah. <laughs> My example was about the complexity of something that oh. is not even that desirable. No, everybody's here, which is beautiful, wants to help each other. The majority. Right. Yeah. Hey, uh, if anybody liked what we said from you, 10,000 people, share it with another person that you care about. If you don't have another person you care about in your life, we can look up a new, like a psychiatric uh, number in your neighborhood and, and maybe you need help. You're lonely, you're miserable. Okay, you got to have somebody in your life that you care for and share the video with them. And I want to add one more thing. And show the receipt. If okay. you want a photograph with a signed picture of the sexiest man in the world, I can get them from Chris Johnson. They're only $10. Now, when they do the competition or the uh, tournament, if you wish, okay, for the sexiest man, does he have to strip and walk on the stage with different well, no, I was gonna say so. I outfits? Say so. Speedo, <laughs> for example. Disclaimer! <laughs> disclaimer! Disclaimer! You gotta stop the recording. You All right. Uh, you 10,000 uh, beloved people, don't share that part, okay? <laughs> Kill the vision. Kill the vision. Kill the, the vision. The asthma fire. The asthma fire calendar will be coming out next next month. By the way, <laughs> and wait till you see June. Woohoo! <laughs> oh Lord, Marty's the center. What, what's the calendar theme? Theme. Every day, weird, them, weird creatures discovered in the Amazons. <laughs> <laughs> In the jungle. I loved it. It was spectacular to me. Thank you for allowing me to be in. Um, we're going to crush it, guys. I love what we're doing. Uh, just allow us not to give you the details because the mechanics are the last thing you should worry about. Uh, we'll handle that, but we got this and you're going to be fine. Thank you so much. God bless you and I love you all. Take care. All right. Thank See, you. You. I'll See you next time. 2029. Same bad channel. <laughs> I got him again before he left. <laughs>